All right, let's focus to the commodity markets now. Manisha Gupta is joining in. Manisha, what's the one commodity that you're looking at today? So now I'm looking at copper and the focus clearly seems to be shifting towards 2024 and the kind of fundamentals and facts that we would see in that year. But starting off with the price moves itself, we are trading at a 19 weeks high. So the copper prices have continued to gain on concerns of mine closures and disruptions that the street is already looking at. So you have the Panama government ordering closure of the first quantum copper mine. This is what produces 1% of the global su uh, copper supplies come in from here. So that is what you are seeing in sense of premium. Not just that, you ha have had statements come in from Anglo-American and Brazil Zwale saying that they are looking at lower production garrisons for 2024 and 25 as well. Anywhere between 16% to 20% of a cut in production is what we are looking at for 2024 and going ahead. Also adding some more uh, premium to prices is the statement from Australia putting copper on essential material list to global energy transition. So those are some of the facts that have been keeping the prices on the higher side. Macro in any case has been stronger because you're looking at weakness in US dollar index, expectation of rate cuts going forward and then the hedge for Fund buying also has been supportive. On CME, the shots have been cut from 76,000 contracts to almost 46,000 contracts. We have seen a similar mirroring effect coming in from LME as well. Here as well, the short positions have been cut from 47,000 to 25,000 contracts, telling you that the markets are buying back into this space and there are long positions or accumulations as well being done at this point in time. Talk about uh, Outlook 2024, and there are reports already from BMO Capital, Goldman Sachs and Jefferies talking about a deficit going forward in case of copper in 2024. Well, if you remember, the deficit has been on since 2019. The street was anticipating that in 2024, you could be looking at perhaps new projects coming online, but that really seems to be fading right now. And then apart from that, the China stimulus, US rate cuts, all of that has been a supportive factor as well as we end this year and get into the next one as well. The markets also have put out some price targets here. So Citi clearly has been the most bullish. They're talking about an all-time highs in case of copper by 2025. The all-time high until now for copper has been 10,700. They are talking about levels of 12,000 to $15,000 per ton there. Commerce Bank is talking about 9,400. We are trading at 8,500 right now. So these are still bullish targets there. But there's also a report come in from ING where they feel that an average price for copper next year could be 86. 600. So it clearly is all over the place right now. But at this point in time, there are accumulation levels that you have seen for copper and copper-related equities. All right. Uh, well, thanks a lot, Manisha, for that. Let's